The myocardium is the cellular tissue muscle of the heart. The definition of an infarction is obstruction of the blood supply to an organ or region. An acute myocardial infarction occurs when the blood supply that runs through the coronary arteries is partially or totally blocked for an extended period of time. The cellular tissue of the myocardium is damaged or dies when there is a lack of oxygen to the myocardium. A query for an acute myocardial infarction should be considered when a patient has documentation of chest, neck, jaw, or shoulder pain of unknown cause, shortness of breath, acute coronary syndrome, angina, unstable angina, abnormal EKG, abnormal cardiac enzymes, embolism of a coronary artery, thrombus of a coronary artery, coronary artery disease with significant occlusion or total occlusion of a coronary artery. The patient must meet the license to query criteria of a diagnostic workup with positive test results and therapeutic treatment directed towards the acute myocardial infarction. Acute myocardial infarctions are diagnosed by lab tests called cardiac biomarkers, EKGs, and diagnostic cardiac casts. The treatment is to restore blood flow through the coronary arteries. This can be done by drug therapies such as nitrates, antithrombotics, anticoagulants, and antiplatelet drugs. Coronary artery intervention such as an angioplasty or stent or coronary artery bypass procedures are performed to unblock the bypass the artery that is occluded. The most common cardiac biomarker laboratory tests are the troponin and CKMB. High levels of troponin and CKMB can indicate the myocardium has experienced cell death. There are other issues that could cause elevated levels of troponin and CKMB. Therefore, there must be an additional AMI clinical indicators to support an AMI query. A 12-lead EKG is one of the first diagnostic tests ordered for patients with a suspected myocardial infarction. An EKG can reveal lack of blood flow to the heart. It is not uncommon for multiple series of EKGs to be ordered and reviewed due to the fact that the test results capture a moment in time. A patient can have an evolving acute myocardial infarction and multiple EKGs can map the process. A review of all EKGs is best practice for clinical documentation staff. Abnormal EKG results include but are not limited to documented ST elevation, bundle branch block, ST depression, or T wave inversion. A diagnostic heart cath with a coronary angiography is a screening tool for coronary artery disease and myocardial infarction. Findings of blocked coronary arteries can lead to a diagnosis of acute myocardial infarction. Test findings of total occlusion or significant occlusion of a coronary artery are signs of an acute myocardial infarction. STEMI versus non-STEMI acute myocardial infarction. A STEMI is the abbreviation for ST elevation myocardial infarction. A STEMI occurs when a total occlusion of a major coronary artery, previously affected by coronary artery disease, causes full damage of heart muscle. A non-STEMI is the abbreviation for non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. A non-STEMI occurs when a complete occlusion of a minor coronary artery or a partial occlusion of a major coronary artery previously affected by CAD causes a partial damage to the heart. Common clinical indicators of an acute myocardial infarction include chest pain, angina, history of a previous acute myocardial infarction, family history of an acute myocardial infarction, history of coronary artery disease, shortness of breath, nausea or nausea and vomiting, palpitations, sweating, weakness or fatigue, loss of consciousness, obesity, diabetes, dyslipidemia, heart failure, and chronic kidney disease, hypertension, smoking, or a history of smoking. Common diagnostic tests for an acute myocardial infarction, CKMB lab test, troponin lab test, chest x-ray, electrocardiography, a treadmill stress test, a nuclear diagnostic test, or cardiac angiography. And common therapeutic treatments for an acute myocardial infarction include antiplatelet drug therapy, aspirin therapy, ACE drug therapy, beta blocker drug therapy, statin drug therapy, 
thrombolysis, nitrate drug therapy, angioplasty or angioplasty and stent, or coronary artery bypass graft procedure, respiratory therapy, a prescribed cardiac diet, and smoking cessation. Possible query options for acute myocardial infarction. Please follow all hospital internal policies for queries. Possible query options include ST elevation, myocardial infarction of the anterior wall. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving the left main coronary artery. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving the left anterior descending coronary artery. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving other coronary arteries of the anterior wall of the heart. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction of the inferior wall. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving the right coronary artery. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving other coronary artery of the inferior wall. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction of other sites. This is to be used when the physician is unclear. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving left circumflex coronary artery. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction involving other sites. ST elevation, STEMI, myocardial infarction of unspecified site. Non-ST elevation, non-STEMI, myocardial infarction. Other query options can include acute coronary thrombus not resulting in a myocardial infarction, acute coronary embolism not resulting in a myocardial infarction.